This is a quick video to show you how I can remove the screen from a printed image using Photoshop. So basically I found a scan of an old video game I used to love um, and whoever scanned it, they've done a very good job but the printer screen is still there. They didn't use this screening with their scanner software, not every scanner software has that. And basically I've ended up with this image with this sort of dotty pattern all over it. And so this is just a technique you can use to remove that. So the first thing I'm going to do is double the image's size and I'm just going to use Biocubic Smoother there which is best for enlargement. Um, so I'm going to double the resolution. Make sure you've got resample image ticked. And now it's blown that image up. Obviously also sort of bringing out the detail in this screen as well so the dots are very clear to see there. So I'm going to duplicate this uh, layer first. And first thing I'm going to do is go to Filter and Noise and Median. Now this is a pretty good filter for removing the screen as it is, but the higher you go, the more detail is lost. If you look at this man's face here, or this woman's face here, especially around her eye, the higher the radius, the more detail is lost. So you just want to get the balance right. With your image, it's going to it's going to vary, basically, depending on what your picture looks like. So for me, two is about the right balance. But I want to see some of the original detail, so I'm going to knock that back to about 75%. And I'm then going to duplicate my, let's call that layer 2 actually. So I'm going to duplicate my original image. And we'll call that 3. Just to keep things clear and make sure that's at the front. And of course we're seeing that original layer again. So I'm going to knock that back to about 50%. And then I'm going to go up to here and noise. And I'm going to despeckle it. But I'm going to do this as many times as it takes without losing too much detail. So I'm going to go three, four, probably about five. I can always use my history to jump back up the steps, but about there I think is about right. And obviously you can experiment with the opacity to let more of it through or less of it through. Um, for me I think 50 is about right there and probably about 75% for that layer, but you can experiment. And I think I'm fairly happy, so if I just use uh, history there, I can go back to how it was to now how it is. So it's got rid of enough of that screen, for me, especially on her cheek there, to look a lot better than it was. So from here, I'm happy with that. I'm going to scale it back to its original size. And this is going to sort of help smooth some of it out as well. What am I doing? <laughs> Image size. And this time we're going to be uh, reducing it, so by cubic sharper. You may not have this little bit in brackets in your version of Photoshop. And I'm going to take it back down to 300, which is its original size. So let's uh, find that again. And let's go to 100%. Yeah. So here is the original file. I'm just using history there to do that. And here is the descreened image. So especially if you look on, say, this woman's skirt here. Let's look at the original. You can see the pattern. And I'll zoom out of it, actually. And the same with this man's leg, this man's trousers there. And if I go to my last stage in the history, you can see how much detail has been kept and also how much screen has been lost. So hopefully this technique's useful to you. Obviously this will vary depending on your image, depending on the screen that it was printed at. And not everything uses a, a rosette sort of pattern screen, some of it's stochastic and various other methods. So playing around with the median settings and the um, the speckle settings and even the opacity for each of the layers how much of the image you want to let through will affect it so uh, hopefully this has been useful to you if it has please give me a thumbs up if you'd like to subscribe to see more of this sort of thing please do that and if you'd like to leave me a comment please do that I do like hearing comments because at least I know I've helped someone thanks for watching